Good morning, everybody. Cruise Man here. Once again, on my way home from breakfast. This video is sponsored by Cruise Man's Garage Honda Goldwing Maintenance Video Series. I uh, had the opportunity this morning to meet with Don Smith, a friend of mine. We meet usually every week, every Sunday, here in Carrollton, Texas, at a wake restaurant. And this morning, we, had, uh, we were joined by Robert White, another fellow Goldwing owner who owns a red 2023 Goldwing, pretty much brand new, really pretty bike. And uh, for those of you that are not familiar with Robert, Robert also has a YouTube channel, and uh, it's Robert White Photography. I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can check out his channel. He does some Goldwing uh, motor vlogs and Goldwing videos, and he also does photography. He's quite a uh, photography enthusiast. In fact, he just returned from the Faroe Islands. Got some really cool stuff over on his channel. Make sure you check it out. We enjoyed a really nice breakfast and coffee this morning at Awake. You know, we had time to talk about motorcycles, and we talked a little bit about uh, travel. And we also talked about video editing, which Robert, of course, does his own uh, video editing on his website. So we had a chance to go over some of that cool stuff. But anyway, it's always nice when someone new, a new Goldwing rider, joins us for breakfast. Anybody living in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, you're always welcome to come join us. Uh, we meet at 7 o'clock on Sunday morning at a wake in Carrollton. You may notice the weather today. It's uh, perfectly clear outside. It's about 55 degrees right now but it's actually gonna warm up today to about 75 degrees and we're getting more and more better weather for riding it's uh, starting to get into more of the springtime weather but we do still get a few cold days mixed in but not as much as we were on my last moto vlog so it's starting to finally clear up <laughs> hopefully you're getting some better weather in your area put it in the comments down below let me know what the weather's like are you able to get out and ride but the next couple of days look really good here in the dallas fort worth area of course we do still get some wind occasionally which uh, i hate i hate wind <laughs> but uh, anyway another thing we noticed when we went out and walked out to our bikes that were parked out in the parking lot before i left is that it appeared that robert's 2023 goldwing sits a little higher than my 2018. I'm not sure if you can really tell in this picture, but uh, what do you think? Does it look to you like his bike is sitting up higher than mine? When I look at this photo closely, I can see my motorcycle is not perfectly aligned straight. Mine seems to be leaning a little or cocked a little more to the left, and maybe that made the difference. Maybe we need to do this again with them exactly straight side by side, but I just, we thought that was just a little interesting. And as you can see, I'm stuck at a railroad crossing, and this was a pretty long train. I have to wait quite a while here. Now, I did mention Robert White, told you a little more detail about him. I failed to mention much about Don. I just assume, I guess, everybody knows who Don is, but uh, I met Don as a Goldwing owner and also a video editor. In fact, Don uh, was a professional uh, news cameraman for many, many years and he has a lot of video editing experience, so we have a lot in common, both motorcycles and video editing. Don did sell his Goldwing a little over a year ago and bought himself a brand new Ranger pickup, which he absolutely loves. But Don also has a YouTube channel, so make sure you check out TexasTulane.com. He also has a podcast, and I'll put links to all of this down in the description of the video in case you're interested in checking it out. 
Also, Don does the video intro voiceovers for my videos. So when you hear this video sponsored by Cruise Man's Garage Maintenance Videos, that's Don's voice that you're hearing. In my last Crown and Comments, we talked about this issue that many of us have where when you start your Goldwing, uh, if you do ride a 2018 or later Goldwing, many of us have the issue of this ticking sound or a clicking sound on the right hand side of the engine. And it usually you notice it when the engine is cold. Well, I might have come up with an idea that could be causing that and maybe a way to resolve that issue. After that last crown and comments where I did talk about this engine noise, this ticking or clicking, uh, many of you put comments in on that video and you did indicate that you have this same characteristic on your motorcycle. However, uh, some of you did say you don't have it. You never hear a clicking or a ticking sound. This has been a pretty common thing that I've heard about since 2018 when these bikes came out. But I've never heard that it seems to be the cause of any major issue. But uh, apparently a lot of people have it, but some people don't have it. And not long after that video, I did have a conversation with uh, John Struhar, a friend of mine, who also has a 2022 Goldwing. He did have a 2018 Goldwing. And he told me on the phone that he never had this issue with either one of his Goldwings. But he also mentioned that when he ends a ride, comes home, puts his bike in the garage, he always puts his motorcycle on the center stand. And that got us thinking, maybe, just maybe, this is an oiling issue on the cold bike, because when your bike is on the side stand, all of that oil is going to settle on the left side of the engine. And then when you turn the bike upright, start the engine, it may take a while for the oil to begin pumping and completely get into the valves and all the areas it needs to on the right cylinder. I don't know, is that a plausible theory? It sounds plausible to me. So my question to you is, if you have this ticking sound on your motorcycle, do you tend to keep your motorcycle on the side stand? And if you don't have the ticking sound, you don't notice it, do you keep your motorcycle on the center stand? I just think it'd be interesting to find out if maybe, maybe, that is the cause for this issue. I'm going to stop, grab some groceries. I'll be right back. So this is a test of how much attention you pay to these videos. You may have noticed I pulled into the Tom Thumb grocery store parking lot, but I'm actually leaving from the Kroger parking lot. And that's because I had to go to a second grocery store to get what I needed today. A common thing here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, at least where we live. I didn't have the camera turned on between the ride from Tom Thumb to Kroger, so you're not getting to see that riveting content. Anyway, I'm on my way home. I enjoyed uh, visiting with you today. I always like doing these motor vlogs. Now, if you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. Got some new review videos coming up soon on the channel and lots of other cool stuff. So anyway, thanks for joining me. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog. And remember what I always say, no matter what you ride, ride often, but ride safe.